Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios for your 2018 NFL Week 12 game highlight commentary. We start out in Indianapolis where the Dolphins have the ball first. Ryan Tannehill looking towards his left. He connects with Kenyon. I love to watch the grassy so I can see the murder of Drake as he'd go into the end zone to get the Dolphins on the board. Next in Philly, bumass Eli. I'm the fourth best football player in my family. Manning dumps the ball off to Saquon. I have tree trunks for legs. Barkley, he'd go into the end zone to give the Giants the lead. We take our cameras west to Hollywood where Josh Rosen takes the snap looking over the middle for the first ballot dreadlocks hall of famer larry fitzgerald who'd go into the end zone activating his almighty dreadlock powers to give the cardinals a seven to zero lead we head to denver watch out for that snorlax the kick is blocked by the denver broncos think fast the indianapolis crips in the suwoop zone andrew lucky charms looking towards his right he's got eric ebron in the end zone to even up the score for the colts the browns offense tired of eating fecal matter they want some real grub and they turn to nick chubb who'd fight his way into the end zone to get the cleveland browns on the board the raiders in the period colored zone as Derek vehicle would hand the ball to doug martin who dive over the top go into the end zone for the raiders touchdown they may not be the Pirates of the Caribbean, but they're the Pirates of the United States, and they're searching for their booty. As Jameis Crablegs Winston rolling towards his right connects with Harvard graduate Cameron Brait in the back of the end zone to get the Buccaneers on the board. Let's go to Buffalo Wild Wings as Isaiah McKenzie would get the handoff, go into the end zone to give the Buffalo Bills the lead. Out to Meth Life Stadium we go where Josh, I've been passed around sports teams more than a Kardashian McCown looking towards the end zone. he connect with Jermaine Curse who'd go into the end zone to give the Jets a touchdown lead. How'd that Snorlax get here? Good Lord Almighty, Snorlax is pillaging through the AFC North with the blocks as the Cleveland Browns would block the Cincinnati Bengals field goal attempt. Back to Buffalo Wild Wings we go. First and 10 from the 25-yard line. Play action fake from Josh Allen looking to go deep. The Jacksonville Jaguars receiving the deep balls like their name was Amber Rose as Robert Foster would go into the end zone for the Bills touchdown. The Browns return to the Trevena zone. Rosetta Stone Serbian motherfucker as the Cleveland pastry chef Baker Mayfield looking towards his left. He'd find Antonio Callaway in the back of the end zone to extend the Browns lead. Back to South Park we go play action fake for Big Ben on third and one looking back towards his left. He's got Xavier Grimble wide open but they're playing in Denver their jerseys look like butterfingers as he fumbles the ball goes into the end zone. It's gonna be a touchback Denver ball. Back to Buffalo we go where Jalen Ramsey's mouthing off to the Buffalo Bills sideline informing them that they are indeed garbage. They are trash but in the stands there's a Buffalo Bill fan who's informing Jalen Ramsey that well you're trash is Buffalo's treasure. You know what Jalen has to say about that? Well, guess what, Harlot? You trash, and this team, they trash as well. Think fast to Los Angeles. Android charges inside the Sue Whoop zone. It's Philip Nile Rivers looking towards his left. He's got Mike Williams in the end zone, activating his dreadlock powers for a Chargers touchdown. Out to Baltimore we go, where the Raiders are ready to punt the ball back to the Baltimore Ravens. It's something about punt returners and kick returners out in Baltimore with the last name Jones. They always make a play. Who? Jacoby Jones. Who? Mike Jones. Who? Cyrus Jones. There was no Mike Jones. That's just the name of the song that I'm referencing. Nonetheless, Cyrus Jones into the end zone for the Ravens touchdown. Here comes Duval. As bum-ass Balake Bortles would hand the ball to Leonard Fournette, he'd fight his way into the end zone to cut their deficit to one score. Back to Cincinnati we go. Cleveland Pastry Chef Baker Mayfield looking towards his right. He's got Njoku turning into R. Kelly. I believe I can fly, but his passport got denied. He's got to drive to his destination as he'd be pushed into to the end zone for the Cleveland touchdown. Two plays later from scrimmage. Hey, Andy, what was the best thing about Thanksgiving dessert? Those apple turnovers as the ball is intercepted by Demarius Randall. He gives the ball to Hugh Jackson. Back down to the home of Nick Folk we go. Who the hell is Nick Mullins? Over the middle connects with Dante Pettis who'd go into the end zone to even up the score for the San Francisco 49ers. Think fast. The Chargers would open their Bibles to Revelation Dreadlocks 1 versus 13. Ladies, beware when you're in a man's room. Do not smell his socks as the Chargers would trust the power of dreadlocks and they go into the end zone on a 28 yard carry for Melvin Gordon. Think fast, release the ball, white man. We're Brooklyn, at? we're Brooklyn, at? we're Brooklyn, at? we're Brooklyn. At? Cam Newton would connect with Curtis Samuel in the end zone for the Panthers touchdown. Leonard Fournette doesn't care for Buffalo Wild Wings. He says, I'm a BBQ's kind of guy as he'd fight his way into the end zone to even up the score at 14 all. Back to Baltimore we go. Lamar no Odom Jackson takes the snap. He's gonna throw the ball. I don't even know his controller could pass. 
And the pass is intercepted by Reggie Nelson. Oakland ball. The Los Angeles Crips in the Sioux Whoop zone as Melvin Gordon would find his way into the end zone for his second touchdown on the day. Back to Philadelphia we go. Saquon, I never skip leg day. Barkley gets the handoff. Get out the way, Shepard! As he cuts through the Eagles defense like a Jeffrey Dahmer victim. Cutting through the defense like Nicole Brown Simpson. Into the end zone for the Giants touchdown. They have a 19-3 lead. That's a great lead you got there, Eli. It'd be a shame if somebody blew it. Fourth and one for the Colts. Jacoby Brissett takes the snap. Looking towards the left. He's got Andrew Luck. They're going to move the chains. Wow, a quarterback that can catch. I know a quarterback who can't catch. Tom Brady. It was just out of your hands. Back to Carolina we go. Chris, my mother gave birth to me while in her vehicle. I guess you can call me a car, son. Would fight his way into the end zone to even up the score for the Seahawks. Think fast. Back to Cincinnati. Nick Chubb tells one Bengals defender, hold my nuggets. Suck my dick. As he absolutely mosses him, goes into the end zone to extend the Browns lead. It appears the necrophilia is beginning out in Ohio because the Bengals may be dead. But they're still getting fucked. Back in Indy, the Dolphins defense know their algebra. They know how to execute foil, but they forget to guard Jack Doyle in the back of the end zone as the Colts would regain the lead. But on the ensuing drive, Ryan Tannehill takes the snap, rolling towards his right, looking to go deep as they tell one Colts defender, hold my nuggets, suck my dick, as Leontay Carew just mossed you and goes into the end zone to even up the score. In Wentz, Philadelphia, born and raised. On the playground is where I spend most of my days. The Eagles down six points and they on high alert. Carson Wentz looking right to Zachary Ertz as he go into the end zone to cut the Eagles deficit. Back to Baltimore we go. Lamar no Odom Jackson takes the snap looking left. He's gonna throw again. Wow. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> It's intercepted by the Oakland Raiders. Back to Buffalo Wild Wings we go. Bum-ass Balake Bortles looking towards his left. The ball's through the hands of his receiver. His arms and hands are just for decoration. It's intercepted by the Buffalo Bills' Matt Milano. He returns it all the way back to the 35. The Jags are asking themselves, what happened to our hands? Back in OHIO, the Bengals are going to lose. We know, but they find a way to stop the necrophilia as Andy Dalton connects with John Ross over the middle to finally get them on the board. Here come the Giants, baby. Bum-ass Eli Manning takes the snap over the middle. Vintage Eli Manning. It's intercepted by Malcolm Jenkins headed towards his left. He's finally going to be tackled at the 27-yard line. Vintage Eli Manning. All right, you threw an interception before halftime, but it's not that bad. You still got an eight-point lead. It's not like you're gonna blow the game, right? The Los Angeles Android Crip Chargers back in the Sioux Whoop zone as Philip Now Rivers takes the snap. Looking left, he's got Mike Williams who hasn't turned off his dreadlock powers as he submits his application to the 10 toes down challenge and the Chargers extend their lead. It appears the necrophilia is beginning out there in Los Angeles. Back to South Park we go where Chris Boswell lines up for a 21 yard field goal to cut their deficit to four. It's a fake rolling towards his right. He connects with Armando Alejandro Estrada. Feeling a wave in the end zone to even up the score for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Andy Dalton to take the snap. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's recovered by the Browns inside the 10. Two plays later, Cleveland pastry chef Baker Mayfield takes the snap. Oh, yo, the Bengals ain't shit. We know. As he'd find Darren Felds in the back of the end zone to extend their lead. Back to South Park we go. Big Ben takes the snap from his three-yard line. Launches off a prayer. It's going to be caught by Juju Smith-Schuster. And here we go. Look at the bottom of the screen. AB deletes Chris Harris and Juju still on the run. He tells two Broncos defender, you don't got the horsepower to catch me. Goes into the end zone for his second 97-yard touchdown of his career. For Seattle, Chris Carson gets the handoff, tries to turn a defender into a Goomba. <laughs> he somehow lands on his feet and advances the ball to the 35. Down in Tampa, Peyton, no Tiki, no Rondé Barber gets the handoff, goes into the end zone to extend the Buccaneers' lead. Here come the Ravens. Lamar, no Odom Jackson, takes the snap. He's doing what he does best. See, he's going to run it into the end zone. This way, he doesn't throw interceptions. Touchdown, Ravens! Back to the Carolinas we go. Russell, I turned a hoe into a housewife. Wilson takes the snap. Looking over the middle, he'd find Tyler Lockett. He'd take a trip to Jared. Go into the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown to 
take the lead. And just look at the creativity on the touchdown celebration. It's a remake of what Allen Iverson did to Tyron Lou. The Broncos in the period colored zone. Law and order Case Keenum play action fake looking towards his right. He'd find Emmanuel Sanders in the back of the end zone to even up the score at 17 all. Back to Baltimore we go trailing by 10. Derek Vehicle takes the snap looking towards his right. He's got Jared. I like to cook. He'd catch the ball on a one hand catch. Go into the end zone to cut the Raiders deficit to three. Back to Cincinnati we go. Andy Dalton now on the sideline with a sore vagina. In comes Jeff Driscoll looking towards the left. He's got Tyler Boyd. He'd go into the end zone for the score. But did this help the Bengals come back and win? Absolutely not! Back to Cincinnati where a surviving Pilgrim lines up for the kick. Adam Vinatieri to even up the score, but it's going to be wide to the left. You're supposed to be a legend. Was that Adam or was it Zane Gonzalez? I don't care if you got signed by Arizona. You're a bum. Put your motherfucking head back down. The Jaguars on the move looking to take the lead. Bum-ass Balake Bortles looking towards the left. He'd connect with Dante Moncrief for a Jacksonville touchdown. But upon further review, it would be down at the one-yard line. Is he performing fellatio? Why is his helmet where his pelvis is at? Wait a minute. It seems a brouhaha is breaking out by the sideline. A kerfuffle has broken out between Fournette and Lawson. They're alternating blows like they're trying to cool a hot cup of tea. Here comes Hyde with the right hand. Hand, but you can't punch somebody who's wearing a helmet. You're only gonna hurt yourself, dummy. The referee's ruling an ejection for both players. Whoa, Fournette got his helmet off by this man's pelvic region. What in the Michael Sam is going on at the sideline? Fournette coming off the field says, it don't matter. We still beat you in the playoffs and Buffalo Wild Wings suck. BBQ's for life. Somebody says, fuck you, buddy. They throw a can at his helmet. Fournette says, who threw that bottle at me? Lawson says, it was me. Fournette responds, it couldn't have been you. It came from above. It don't matter. Fight me, plus a Back to Meth Life Stadium, we go 13 all Tom Brady. Eh? He finds Julian P.E.D. Edelman, who it's split in the middle of two defenders to give the New England Patriots the lead. Back to Carolina, we go. Cam Newton takes the snap. Take the ball, white man. And Christian McCaffrey goes into the end zone as the Panthers regain the lead. That's how white man runs a football. After the brawl, Josh Lambeau would line up for a field goal, but watch out for that far fetch. It's sailing wide to the left. It's no good. You know better, Lambeau. Keep your motherfucking head down. Back to South Park we go. Big Ben takes the snap, looking towards his left. He's got James Conner, but those damn Broncos jerseys, they remind me so much of Butterfingers. He fumbles on the play. It's recovered by the Broncos. Ben, that's three turnovers already. It is? Yes, you idiot. It's not like you're going to turn it over again, right? The Los Angeles Android Charger Crips in the swoop zone once again. And Austin Elker gets the handoff. He'd go into the end zone for the score. It appears the necrophilia continues out in Los Angeles because the Cardinals may be dead. But they're still getting fucked. Back to Buffalo Wild Wings we go. Josh Allen takes the snap at the top of the fourth quarter. Get your bitch ass off of me. What? Makes a cut inside. Goes into the end zone as the Buffalo Bills regain the lead. Jalen Ramsey says, you still trash. But the Bills fans say, well, Jalen's trash is Buffalo's treasure. Back to the home of the Pirates we go. Second and 12, Jameis Crab legs. Winston takes the snap, steps up in the pocket, escapes towards his right, throws it back towards his left. It's going to be caught by Adam. Gossip Girl was Dan Humphreys, who'd cut his way into the end zone to extend the Buccaneers' lead. They'd hold on to it and win the game. What you eating, Jameis? He's eating a W. Back to Lucas Oil Stadium we go where the Dolphins are driving. They hand the ball to Kenyon. I like to watch Degrassi so I can see the murder of Drake as he'd go into the end zone to give them a 10-point lead. That's a nice lead you got there, coach. It'd be a shame if somebody blew it. Did somebody say something about blowing lines? No, I said leads. Oh, don't mind me then. Yeah, baby, that's the stuff. Back to Baltimore we go. Lamar, no Odom Jackson takes the snap. Oh my lord, he's gonna throw. He connects with Michael Crabtree who'd go into the end zone for the Ravens touchdown. What do you know? Maybe he can throw. Think fast. Back to Philly we go. Josh Adams gets the handoff, goes into the end zone, and the Philadelphia Eagles have the lead. Hey, Eli, you gave up the lead, but it's not that bad. You're only down a field goal. It's not like you're going to lose by a field goal, right? Meanwhile, in South Park, Phillip Lindsay Lohan gets the handoff, goes into the end zone to give the Denver Broncos a lead. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go where the Patriots on the one-yard line say we don't fuck with Xbox. We roll with Sony PlayStation Michelle, and he goes into the end zone for the Pats touchdown. Hey, 
look, the Bengals are going to score once again as Jeff Driscoll's going to run it into the end zone for the score. But did this help them come back in window? Absolutely not. The Carolina Crips in the Sioux Whoop zone. There's no answer for the Blue Eyes White Privilege as Christian McCaffrey goes into the end zone for the Panthers touchdown. Here come the Raiders, fourth and eight. Derek Vehicle takes the snap. Oh, son of a bitch. He's hit from behind, fumbles on the play. The ball scooped up by T-Sizzle Terrell Suggs. He's going back the other way like the Raiders progress this season. Headed towards the end zone for a fumble recovery touchdown. As the Ravens extend their lead, the necrophilia continues because the Raiders might be dead. But they're still getting fucked. I thought I had a group of Gruden grinders. I need to trade all these motherfuckers. They ain't shit. You mean like what you did with Khalil Mack? His team is number one in his division. They had a hell of a game on Thursday. What about Amari Cooper? Three game win streak. He's playing the best football of his life. Wow. Now they choose to be Gruden grinders. It's fucking bullshit, man. Back to Lucas Oil Stadium. We go where the Indianapolis Crips are in the Sioux Whoop zone once again. As Andrew Lucky Charms looking over the middle connects with Eric Ebron once again. As the Colts would even up the score. It's something about the coaches in Miami. They're just so good at blowing stuff. Back to the Carolinas we go. Russell, I turned a hoe into a housewife. Wilson takes the snap on fourth and three, looking towards his left. He's got David. We want less. No, we want more. And he'd score the touchdown to even up the score. But back the other way, the Carolina Panthers have a chance to regain their lead as Graham Gano lines up for a 52-yard field goal, but it's sailing. To the right, to the right, to the right, the right, the right. Remember when Gano was clutch? I remember that. Why can't he do that now? Meanwhile, in South Park, the Steelers inside the five-yard line with a chance to tie the game, but Ben Roethlisberger went to the school of Pete Carroll with a PhD in Russell Wilson studies because they don't run the ball. He's intercepted in the end zone. The Denver Broncos are going to win the game. I cannot believe it. The Eagles with a chance to win the game off the foot of Jake Elliott once again against the Giants. He kicks it through the uprights, and it's good. The Giants lose by a field goal again. Do you remember? I remember. Eli! Y'all blew the lead and lost by a field goal once again, you goddamn bum! Then a maggot in the war of 1812, Sebastian Janikowski would kick the ball through the uprights, and it's good, the Seahawks win! Then finally, the forgotten pilgrim, Adam Vinatieri, lines up for a 32-yard field goal for the win. He kicks it through the uprights, and it's good, as the Colts win their fifth consecutive game for the Dolphins, Steelers, Cardinals, Jets, Bengals, 49ers, Raiders, Panthers, Jaguars, and Giants. Take out your Metro cards and get aboard the L train. Why aren't you following me? Why haven't you subscribed already? You don't hear this shit? I'm hilarious. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong Hold my nuggets. Suck my dick. Yes, mama. Wow.